Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Welcome back. Started off a little bit chilly out there. We even had widespread frost across the Willamette Valley, but maybe this should turn into a very nice day. Temperatures very close to 70 degrees, even across uh, areas of Eugene right now. Taking a live look over the Beltline, where today likely will be the warmest temperatures that we see for the rest of the week. Now, once we head into next week past Memorial Day, it does look like we will warm things back up, but at least for this week, this is kind of the warmest you're going to get. And what we also have tomorrow is some calmer winds. Again, air mass is changing and once it moves in, these 30 mile per hour wind gusts out toward the coast will translate to 15, 20 mile per hour gusts tomorrow. And eventually that'll be the case for the rest of the week as well. Nevertheless, we had some clear skies today. Cloud cover still hanging on up towards northern Oregon, but that is a sign of our front that is right on our doorstep. Again, this is expected to move through tomorrow afternoon for the most part, but we could start to see a few of those showers very early in the day. And it's not a heavy rain, but it's going to be a persistent rain in the afternoon, especially if you're heading north of Eugene, you folks in Corvallis, Albany, out towards Sweet Home. It is going to be a persistent rain as we approach tomorrow afternoon. So that is certainly some good news because these pollen count numbers keep on climbing and I've been suffering, especially from this one lately. I feel like most of us here in the Willamette Valley are highly allergic to grass pollen and this is the grassy capital of the world up towards Lynn County and we are going to continue to see these numbers climb even more over the next couple of days. The good thing though is that front it's going to bring some showers and hopefully we can shave these numbers down just a little bit and you can see that rain starting to approach as early as eight o'clock tomorrow morning. If you have plans up toward the Portland area showers early in the morning, if you're headed south towards Medford, it should be relatively clear. That being said, once we get into the afternoon, pretty much anyone north of Roseburg is going to be dealing with this persistent rain. I will say once you get south of Crestwell into southern Oregon, Roseburg, Medford, more of a scattered shower at least through Tuesday afternoon. Different story by Tuesday. Tuesday night again, heavier rain starts to develop up into the foothills. That is due to upslope flow kind of enhances that precipitation. Notice how high the snow levels are, though. We start as rain. Eventually we could see a brief transition to snow, mainly up towards areas of Sandy and Pass. And then by Wednesday, we start to clear things out by the afternoon. So all in all, if you got to get some yard work done tomorrow morning is going to be the best case scenario. And honestly, this afternoon, if you can get out there towards sunset, that's going to be the best time because we have several rounds of showers moving through over the next couple of days. So now is a good time to get that lawn nice and mowed before the showers start to move in. Again, best chance Tuesday afternoon and into Wednesday. But again, we're going to be tracking some additional shower chances by Friday and into Saturday. Your seven day forecast for the coast. We are going to be dealing with some cooler weather over this week. Stuck in the 50s, the warmest day is not until Memorial Day, 62 degrees for next week. For the Umpqua Basin, 72 Tuesday afternoon. Round of showers early in the day. Again, most rain holds north of you folks in Douglas County, but can't rule out a few showers. And yes, 80 degrees by Memorial Day. For the Cascades, again, a brief transition to snow overnight on Wednesday, but for the most part, we are going to be dealing with warmer temperatures in the 50s next week. And for Eugene and Corvallis, 64 Tuesday afternoon. And Matt, you can see the temperatures do climb mm -hmm. by Memorial mm -hmm. Day, but we got to get through some showers tomorrow afternoon first. Our friends in Florence, thank you for the wonderful weather for the Roadie Fest and the parade yesterday. It was gorgeous this it weekend, was gorgeous. was it not? Just a little bit breezy, though, so hopefully we can tame down those winds over the couple of days. All right, thank you, Holden. Yeah. All right, new injectable weight loss drugs are very